Fiona. Sorry, I... I That's I've been... all right, don't worry, don't worry. You, uh, you just, when I say your name, you start speaking. Don't just speak without saying your name, because we can't use it in the edit. OK. When I say Fiona, you start speaking. Fiona. Uh, when I'm... I say Fiona, start speaking. <laughs> Only when I say. All right? Only when I say. Don't come in here, love. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to just sort of take over. All right? OK. Fiona. <laughs> I'm in... Speak now. <laughs> Hang on. Fiona. Emma, I'm in two minds because I think you're way better than that first round. Uh, but well, this is a team game and we want to win at the end, so if you want to take the thousand, take it. Is that it? <laughs> So it's quite I had some more, but I felt that. I'd used up my time. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad man. His next question. Sorry, can I just... Yeah, you go know, ahead. So, at the end of those two questions, I didn't say why I chose the answer. I'm not interested. Is that because you weren't looking at me, so I didn't say anything? Or am no. I supposed to say... Am I supposed you to can just... say, whatever, say whatever you want. Oh, OK. Why, why did you put that? Uh, I got confused, really, and I just went for one of the answers. <laughs> And that's all you've come up with? <laughs> We're having a conversation, you've chipped in with that. What is the point of that? It's not, oh, great. It's not great chat, is it? I, I'll go, no, it's not a great chat. It, it, I'll, I'll nod to you now when I'm think, I think you might have something interesting to say. Other than that, keep your trap shut. Are you still working in your lab while you're doing this? Oh, yeah. Be back in on Monday. What do they say to you in the lab when you, they see you on the telly doing all this stuff? Oh, most of them don't, don't, don't watch it. <laughs> They're nerds, but they're not that kind of nerds. They don't... Half of them don't even watch TV. Hello and welcome to The Chase Bloopers. And, yes, occasionally I do misspeak, so just in case I make any mistakes tonight, I've asked the governess to provide subtitles to everything I say. So here goes. Hello and welcome to The Chase Bloopers. I'm Bradley Walsh. You'll be amazed to learn that sometimes things do go wrong on the show. <laughs> even though I'm a total professional. So, let's start with some contestants who amaze, delight and entertain us. I'm Jane. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! Got it this time, Jane. Here we go. In three, two... I'm Jane, a retired banker who's 30. <laughs> I don't know why I'm come messing this up. I am very sorry. How old are you, Jane? Well, I've tried for 49, but I'm actually 64. We would have believed 49, Jane. <laughs> Retired early. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Right. Sorry, folks. Don't you worry, mate. Here we go. In three, two. I'm Jane. I'm 64, a retired banker from North Yorkshire. <laughs> To raise some cash for prize money, I'm being sponsored to spend all day sitting in a bath of beans. <laughs> hey, where have all the beans gone? Oops. <laughs> I don't have to do this. I've got a proper job, you know. Hey, gang, keep your eyes out. You cold, Matt? Cold? Yeah, cold. What are you doing? You going like that? Playing the check. You cold? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I just confirmed. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe some birds. All right, mate. You're sitting there going, oh, hoo hoo. Still in the back. Percy Edwards. You remember Percy Edwards? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he won't remember Percy Edwards. No, he won't remember no, no, Percy Edwards. No, right. He wasn't even <laughs> an embryo. No, he wasn't even. There's a guy and he's talking for you. <laughs> weren't even an embryo. Right. Um, here we go. Keep your eyes on the old. Uh, what's this called? 1440K. What's it going to be? Uh, well, it's not going to be the one, that's no. for sure. Um, I'm going to go for the 40. <laughs> 40,000. Can't do that. <laughs> not allowed, sorry. We only put it there as a joke. No one normally takes that. <laughs> I mean, if, we, if you get that back and win, we've had it. <laughs> Honestly, we've got no money left. <laughs> We're running, you know, it's been tough old times at ITV. Yeah. And, uh, I don't want to say that. We'll have to edit that bit out. Four grand. Very good. <laughs> Here's next question. Can we just stop, Brad? Sorry, that hasn't opened. It won't open. Sorry. It'll only open. It's automatic. When I say the chase is on, then it starts to open. Magnus. Like magic. <laughs> In fact, the way that opens, there's a certain time at life you wish you'd had a piece of that. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. John, for seven grand, the chase is on. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a wizard. <laughs> Talia, for four grand, the chase is on. Oh, 
Oh, it's one for the blooper show. <laughs> oh, it's not, is brilliant, it? brilliant, brilliant. OK, good luck. Here comes your first question. Nicola, for seven grand, the chase is on. <laughs> Comes up automatically, my flat does. I'm saying nothing. Yes. <laughs> In Latin, it's known as flappus uppus. <laughs> Good luck, here comes your first question. <laughs> what are you doing with me flap? I thought I'd go. Well, don't. Oh, OK. Well, I thought, do you? That's down, that's the flat merchant out the back. No, it won't shut. Well, it won't, cos it stays open. That's how it stays, you see. <laughs> that lifts that up and that stays open like that. OK. Don't, but you don't open it like that no. because here's what happens, you see, look. Stand aside, John. Sorry, mate. If you open it like that, he can see where you put your fingers on the oh, buttons. I see. That's why the flap's like that. It's oh. designed, you see, so you do that. That's how it's done. It's clever, isn't it? It really is, <laughs> unlike some people. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's do this. Good luck, Jim. Right, I'm 15 minutes adrift. Let's crack on. Jim, we haven't got time. We've got to get this show very done. I've got a very important meeting today, so I've got to try and get this show done as quick as I can. So if I don't talk to you, so don't worry. I mean, normally, I... anyway, let's crack on. Oh, well, good, we go, OK. And first up, it's Jim. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Jim. Hi, Brad. Right, here we go. <laughs> 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 OK, what's going on there, Derek? What are you doing, love? You're breaking a set. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> sort yourself out, love. Oh, so, yeah, what fine. are you doing? I've done it. Sit still, a lot of you are. <laughs> Trying to work here. Pay attention, everyone. <laughs> OK, all right. OK. Hang on, let me pull my cuffs out. <laughs> right, we're ready. You've put... Be swift. You're not allowed to say, I'm the one who says. Sorry. You can't say it. Sorry. I have to say it. Okay. That's what I'm here for, that's my job. When I go, you've put, you, you, it comes up, and then I say something. All right, you okay. say nothing. OK. OK, all right. So what did you put? Swift. Told you not to say anything. <laughs> just thought I'd put it out there. But I did just say, and I asked you what you put, and then you said swift. Well, I hope it's right. But it's so unnecessary. <laughs> Can you just tell me if it's right, though? What, are you getting nervous? No, I'm absolutely confident in my okay. answer. OK. Angela, what have you put? Be swift. I told you not to say that. <laughs> Guess what, Lisa? You're through. Yeah. Put it there. Oh. Kapow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch. You've got to do it again. Do <laughs> sorry, it again. Sorry. And you've got to make noise. You've got to go kapow. Kapow. Yeah, <laughs> OK. There you go. Kapow. Oh, oh wow, thanks. <laughs> OK, Lisa, you're up. Well done. Hello and welcome to The Chase. It's Friday. Can't wait to get on a tarmac. This lot have got no chance. Let's quit while we're ahead. <laughs> Lewis, for four grand, The Chase is on. Come on, mate. Leave that flat. Your hands off the flap. It's an engineering <laughs> student. He wants to know where it works. I know. <laughs> that is that is years and years and years of technical engineering. I I'm did, sure I'd be proud of that one. I did the drafting for all that. I did the whole lot. I did honestly. <laughs> on the back of a napkin. On the on, on the back of a napkin. I did. Right? He's not lying. He did design an automatic flap. Here are some of his other designs. This is for a hoverboard, apparently. <laughs> This is his design for an automatic bottle and bag of crisps opener. <laughs> and this is his design for an electro-fun trundle. <laughs> I did ask what an electro-fun trundle was, but he didn't seem to know. To go through with four grand, the correct answer is... <laughs> well played, very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people used to uh, look forward to that little chat when they got back. <laughs> <laughs> Wallow in the moment. Oh, sorry. Have I, have I just... <laughs> shall I go back? <laughs> <laughs> Wait to get off the <laughs> Well done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Dad. Oh. Brilliant, Dad. And what do you do for a living? 
So I'm a nutritionist and a lecturer. OK, are you a lecturer in nutrition in, in like, a university or college or something? Yeah, a university, but I work remotely. Right. A nutritionist, right. Are you allowed to drink alcohol? Sure. Oh, OK, cool. How many would you have in a day normally? No, I don't drink every day. Oh, oh you don't? No. <laughs> it tends to be, like, a, a weekend as a treat. What about drinking at work? Do you think that's good? <laughs> yeah, that's probably a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> What was she like? <laughs> These four people have never met before, but quite frankly, I'm not bothered. But by working as a team, they have a chance to win thousands of pounds. And looking at them, I don't think they've got much chance. 